After the riot at the Capitol building on January 6th, Ted Cruz has been calling out Democrat after Democrat on Twitter for stoking division and throwing around baseless claims. Instead, Ted says, the Democrats need to help the country unite and heal after surviving this terrorist attack. The Twitter replies, of course, are complete garbage, and some people are even going so far as to call Ted Cruz a hypocrite. Well, let me tell you something. Ted Cruz is not a hypocrite. In this one particular instance. Allow me to explain. Back in the 2016 presidential primaries, Ted Cruz was a repeated target of Donald Trump's insult-based campaign. It was mostly Trump calling Ted a liar, a baby, a little baby, lying Ted, a soft, weak little baby, the best liar, he's got a mental problem, and most of all, a liar. But then Trump moved on to Cruz's family. Trump retweeted an unflattering side-by-side -side of Ted's wife compared to Trump's wife and claimed that Ted Cruz's dad was a close associate of Lee Harvey Oswald. And that crossed a line for Ted Cruz. Even after Trump had secured the nomination, Cruz staunchly refused to endorse him for president, telling a crowd of Republican voters, I am not in the habit of supporting people who attack my wife and attack my father. And that pledge was not a blanket commitment that if you go and slander and attack Heidi, that I'm going to nonetheless come like a servile puppy dog and say thank you very much for maligning my wife and maligning my father. And Ted Cruz stood by those words for two whole months. Then he endorsed Trump for president. He campaigned for Trump. He phone banked for Trump. And then he dragged his wife to dinner with Trump. You see, Ted Cruz realized that the time had come for the Republicans to heal and unite for the presidential race. So Ted Cruz threw away his most dearly held principles. Ted Cruz got down on all fours. Ted Cruz became a servile puppy dog. And Ted Cruz licked Trump's boots from heel to toe. And now Ted Cruz has realized that such an opportunity has come again. After he fanned the flames of President Trump's conspiracies and helped incite the attack on the Capitol, Ted Cruz wants the Democrats to follow his lead in order to heal and unite the nation. Just like Ted Cruz did in 2016, he wants the Democrats to muster every ounce of cowardice they have and lick the boots that tried to trample American democracy. And that is consistency.